Mai was born with a physical challenge. It affects all four of my limbs from the elbows down and from the knees down. I have three toes on my right foot and a partially developed lower right leg. I was unable to walk until I was five years old. You know, I can remember this experience very vividly even today. I used to sit outside on my parents' front porch and I'd watch all the neighborhood children play outside. And as I'm sure all of you can imagine, I so desperately wanted to be like them. I mean, I just wish that someday I'd have normal hands and normal legs. And whenever I would become discouraged, the person that I would seek out was my mom, wisest person I know. I can remember asking her this, Mom, why was I born this way? And she used to tell me, well, honey, it's because you're not a carbon copy. You're an original. Mom, how come kids ridicule me? And my mom used to tell me, well, honey, that's just a weak person's imitation of strength. I had an audience member approach me and say, you know, Roger Crawford, I heard that quote from your mom, and I think Eleanor Roosevelt said that. I said, I am shocked. <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt, a former first lady of the United States, seemed to be a woman of integrity. That's why I can't believe she would steal that quote from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was my hero. In fact, I remember on the playground at school, a couple of kids saying, Hey, Roger, my daddy can beat up your daddy. And I used to say, That's no big deal. My mom can whip him too. <laughs> My parents found a doctor that changed my life. He amputated the bottom part of my left leg, then reconstructed my knee. So this afternoon, I'm wearing an artificial leg or prosthesis. You know, when Steve introduced me this afternoon, and I walked up on the stage, I shook his hand, and I'm sure there were a few of you in this audience that thought, wow, this speaker that we're having today has really faced quite a burden. You know, you may be surprised to hear that when I look at my hands, I think they've been a wonderful gift. I really do. Because my hands are a reminder to me that Roger Crawford, no matter what your circumstances, never quit. It took me 16 years to learn how to tie my shoes. I finally learned how to accomplish it. Two days later, they invented Velcro. <laughs> Where was that when I was growing up? You see, my friends, the essence of my life is really not far different than your life. Everybody is going to face adversity. Challenges are inevitable. But I am convinced that defeat is optional. See, wouldn't you agree that real handicaps can be overcome? It's the imaginary ones that really disable us.